So I haven't filmed much of this recently because I've been busy doing stuff to it, but we have made a turn fin for it. Now these are just temporary screws, they're not actually doing anything. Um, it's just for looks for now. Uh, these these will probably stay. Um, we've made a stand. I just finished doing that today. And I've just mounted the rudder for a dummy fit. Um, I'm going to have to make a new one of these brackets here because, as you can see, um, let me grab a, here we go. Um, as you can see, that right there is the bolt. So this, that bit of metal there should be over the bolt, not underneath. So we have to make a new one of those up as well. And there's a bolt missing from there. As you can see, there's one there, one there, one there, but not one there. So do a new one of those up. And that previous owner didn't make up their mind on what hole they're going to use for the rudder. So I'm going to have to re-fiberglass these up again, which should be no problem. That's where we've got the rudder sitting for now. So it's a little bit to the right, um, but as we turn right, it should be um, should be in the right place. If not, we might have to work out a way of cutting into here. Um, the reason I say a bit tricky is because there's a wall there. Um, but yeah, that wall goes to about there. Now, once it's finished, um, like once I've finished putting the motor in and getting it all set up, test, dri uh, test driven and ready to be, I guess, put on display, I'm going to change the decals to um, a boat I'll put up on screen. So I'll get rid of these decals here, these ones, pretty much all of them, to make it look like the photo. Now, motor-wise, I think, oh well, I was going to go electric because it's something different and my other 1.8 scale boat is nitro and I thought I'd be a little bit different and go electric, but now that I'm thinking, we've got three OS engines here that we could potentially use, so I will put them on the bench and we'll have a look. So I've got them all open, and I've realized that this one here doesn't exist uh, because it is in that boat right there, which is a catamaran. So that's off the table, but there is an engine in this one. So we'll get this unpackaged and have a look. Now I'm filming with the other hand now because I didn't realize it was so greasy. <laughs> but um, this is an OS81, I don't know if you can see that, oh come on, there we go, right there, 81, so it's probably, it'll probably be alright for what we want. motor has been rebuilt at some stage and is actually in this zip kit here. So I guess what we're going to have to do put that guy in there just for another angle of the boat there you go um, but I've found these mounts here so they mount uh, what's it like something like that um, in the boat these two bolts here obviously go into these two holes and it kind of keeps the motor off the off the hull so it doesn't vibrate and break the hull and yeah I think we could potentially use that so I'll put this aside for now 
we'll get the boat back up here and we'll, we'll dummy fit it. So, that would sit about, we want it to be ideally in front of the sponson end because that means then the weight will be a bit more balanced but um, yeah something like that I'm thinking something like that so there's obviously the tube for the shaft the shaft will come out and into the motor it's as you can see the exit for the shaft is a little bit to the right but that's because if you look carefully the cowling or like the lid starting is to the left a little bit here we you can see a bit better here see it's over this way a bit more because in America this boat and this rock was actually like that and it they were like that because when they went around the corners the weight was more to the uh what's it left side so i think in america they turn oh, can't remember what way they turn um obviously we turn right hence the turn for being on the right side but Whatever way they turn, the weight would be on the inside or the outside. I can't remember, but that's why it's to the left or right a little bit. Um, but the strut is still in the centre of the boat, so that's good. Um, just means we have to mount the motor a little bit to the right, which shouldn't be an issue. Now, I think we are going to have to do some little modifications to it um, for it to fit properly. Because, uh, where is it? I'll turn the torch on. In there, that is the tuning lever. It's kind of hitting against that wall there. And it's not quite aligned properly yet. So we need it to be a little bit more to the left. Um, I've got it sitting nicely around about where it should be. We can always move it, but... Yeah, we might have to do some adjustments to that one. There is also the other option of going electric, which would make things so much easier because you don't have all, all of that nonsense in the way. It will just be that. So if I can get that out the road. Obviously I won't be using this motor because it's too small, but see it just, you can have it, oh, there we go, you can have it way over here, it's way too far which is good because we'd have it about there, so I don't know, we'll see. And if you're wondering why this character's in the drawer, it is because he's going to be the driver. So I'll do some more research as to what motor I should put in there. In the next video, we'll, I guess, have a motor here or use this one.